Okay, so we can generalize this and make a big statement. And say that y equals 2 to the kx horizontally compresses the graph of y equals 2 to the x by factor k. All right? Now, what if k is less than 1? Well, how do you vertically stretch something if the factor is less than 1? That actually vertically compresses it, doesn't it? Every point becomes, if it, by factor, say, one-half, everything becomes half as far from the x-axis, right? Well, this means if k is less than 1, if k was one-half, everything would be compressed by factor one-half, but that means it's going to be expanded by factor of 2. Okay? So, taking a few liberties with the language, but I think, in my experience, it seems to be the clearest way to state it. All right? Okay. Now, the other thing is, I don't really have a good place to write it, so I'll just kind of start writing it up here. y equals 2 to the kx is just 2 to the k raised to the x. That's basic laws of exponents, right? If you have a power of 2 and take that to a power, you're gonna, you can multiply the exponents and write it like this. Okay? Well, if it's written like this, you can take it apart and write it like this. You could also write it as 2 to the x to the k, that wouldn't be particularly helpful. This is very helpful. Because this, we can say, is equal to b to the x. Where b just equals 2 to the k. Okay, make sure I've got board room up there. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, are y'all bored yet? Hopefully not. It's time of the day, I can understand it. I'll try not to be. Okay. So let's talk about the graph of y equals, oh, what the heck, let's say 3 to the x. Okay. Now, I want to find out what kind of a k I'd have to put on 2 to the x in order to make the graph of 3 to the x. Now, I don't understand what I just said, so let's just go ahead and do it and it'll become a little bit clearer. So what I want to do is, okay, We want to find the k such that 2 to the kx 
equals 3 to the x. So we want to solve this equation for k. Okay, I'm going to let you think about that for a minute.